Okay, so oxidation reaction. Let's look at this. All right, so copper plus silver nitrate makes copper nitrate and silver. Okay. The reaction between solid copper and aqueous silver nitrate produces solid silver and a blue solution, which is a copper nitrate, represented by the balanced equation shown above. Based on the balanced equation, which of the following identifies the oxidation and reduction half reactions? Okay, so let's, let's remember, with oxidation, are you gaining electrons or losing electrons? And losing electrons with oxidation? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So which one of these, just on the oxidation half, represents losing? A and C. A and C? So we just trying to spot the true oxidation. So we're trying we're trying to identify the oxidation and reduction half reactions correctly. So it would be A. A and B. Yeah, A and B. Okay, so A and B have the correct oxidation reaction, at least in terms of the format, right? Because when you have the electron on the product side, that means that you're losing the electron, right? Okay, reduction. So both A and B have the correct format for oxidation and reduction. So now we need to look at the numbers, right? Because this is one electron, two electrons, two electrons, one electron. So which one of these is correct? So is copper in this case, or the silver nitrate in this case, we need to figure out what the oxidation numbers are, right? What are the, I can't see the things. Is the, are those two pluses? What? Above the copper. So this is a plus. That's a plus. Yeah. What about the one below? That's a two plus. And then the, the silver's on the other side of minuses? Uh, this is A, G, let's see here. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. So let's see here. So this is Cu makes Cu plus plus E minus electron, right? Ag2 plus plus 2 E minus makes Ag. So it would be A. Well, B works too. Does it? Do they both work? My guess is A. Well, they both work as far as the numbers on both sides. But right, the numbers sure work on both sides. Is correct, then we can figure out what that is. Okay, so the reason, so we need to figure out what the oxidation number is for these different the compounds. Well, so. is it the oxidation number for silver so didn't have one? So you said oxygen was minus two and the nitrate was minus three. So, yeah, so the, the uh, oxygens. Oh, we have the equation over there. Yeah, yeah, right here. The oxygens are, are negative two, yeah? Yes. Okay, and we have three of those. So what about minus six? Minus six, so what are the? Minus nine. Well, the NO3 three. though is neutral. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the AG should have no charge. Okay. So is it 
So the AG should have no charge, but obviously it has a charge. It has an oxidation. Well, yeah, but isn't NO3 neutral on its own? NO3, so two NO3 should have, yeah, should, should be neutral on its own as well. And it doesn't have any plus or minus, right? Yeah. Okay, what about copper? Well, the copper looks like that's neutral. Well, the copper would have the Are you sure that the NO3 is neutral? In this case, it must not be. Yeah. Is it normally neutral on its own? Or is that NO2? NO, oh, was it NO2 that we were looking at earlier? No. Is NO3 neutral? Because if NO3 is not neutral. My guess is that NO3 would be negative 2. Yeah. And if that was the case, then it would be a it's correct, maybe? Because, uh, let's see here, no, if, no, if no. NO3, no, it would be, be the correct. Oxidation. Ammonia has an oxidation number. Ammonia is neutral which is NH4, oh, not ammonia. No, Nit nitrate. Of, uh, minus one. That would be the only thing that makes sense. NO3 minus, so NO3, oh. NO3 minus is, yeah, nitrate is negative one. Cool. So then since it's a minus, that would mean that the CU has to be plus two, so that B is correct. The CU would have to be, yeah, because the two of these reacting with one of these. Well, I was looking at the next part, CU, NO3, but there's two NO3s, and so each of them with a minus have to make a neutral. With yeah, the with those. But you can look at it the same way there. Yeah. Because Cu makes Cu2 plus, plus, yeah. Let's see here. Oh no, what is happening? Oh, uh, why no work? What is happening? Come on, College Board. Okay. So let's see here. The correct answer is B. Cool. So the nitrate was negative one. How do we figure that out? Because oxygen is negative two. How do we know that nitrogen is plus five? How do we know that the nitrogen is plus five? So that's, that's the question. In the nitrate. Why well, because nitrate is negative one, yeah? Oh, uh, so, well, it couldn't be a two, because if you look at this Cu, NO, uh, three, two, it wouldn't work, because then Cu would have to be right. uh, plus four or whatever. So it has to be the minus or plus one, and then it would make one. And then the 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 silver was plus one. The copper is minus two. Yeah. 
Okay, let's look at another one. Uh, balance. Which of the following is the balanced net ionic equation for oxidation reduction and reaction of silver and nickel based on the half reactions represented above? Okay, so Ni makes Ni2 plus and two electrons, Ag plus electron makes Ag plus plus an electron makes Ag. So which of the following is a net ionic equation for the oxidation reduction reaction between D. Let's see here. So, let's see. Here. The, the nickel is two, right? Has a has an oxidation number of two plus. And the silver is is minus one. So two silvers plus one. Nick, uh, let's see, two. It's definitely got to be two silvers, right? So it's got to be B or D. A, G plus N, I. Wait, two plus. Well, we need we need the these to be balanced. So D would would be correct, yeah. Jane, what do you think? Elijah, what do you think? <laughs> uh, because so the problem that I see with B is that there's two silvers over here and only one silver over here, right? Here we have one, 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 yeah, but, that, 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 but that doesn't balance our charges. C has, this, has the correct number of atoms, but not the correct charge numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Same with D. What? Oh, D is oh, balanced. No, because there's two. Two silvers, two silvers, one nickel, one nickel. The nickel is plus two here, and the, the and we've got the two plus AG. All right, so it should be D. Yeah? Yeah. Good job, guys. Okay, so, yeah, that one, that one was pretty straightforward. Or what? Yeah, pretty straightforward. Okay. Oh, I wish, dude. All right, let's look at this one. Al makes Al3 plus plus three electrons. Zinc, Zn2 plus plus two electrons makes zinc. Okay. The half reactions for the oxidation reduction reaction between aluminum and zinc are represented above. Based on the half reactions, what is the coefficient for Al if the equation for the oxidation reduction, oxidation rea reduction reaction is balanced with the smallest whole number coefficient? Three. Uh, let's no. I would say it's two. We need two aluminums and three zincs because yeah. because zinc times 
three is six, and aluminum times two is six. Yeah? So it should be, so let's see, what is the coefficient for aluminum? We need two aluminums, right? So it should be B. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good job, everybody. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's the end of the video.